getting set to go here at Charlotte for the fourth annual Coca-Cola 600. Drammy and James Bowles on your front row. They're going to lead this thing, this um, field of green here. As green flag is out for the Coca-Cola 600 here at Charlotte. A great start by James Bowles. Senior now making it all. Um, not making it too wide for the lead. Good to the seniors still in search of that first win. And pitch for the seniors definitely looking forward to the next race. I'm, I know in the um, Talladega race, I said Sonoma was the next race, but it's actually the race after this. So um, that's a race safe pitch for the seniors. As already, it looks like we had a car that had trouble. That's um, Eli Bright, a four car. Spitzwater Senior to the lead. As the rest of these guys battle side by side. Your day 2500 winner, Diego Yepes, looking for his third crown jewel race. He's a past Brickyard 400 winner, won a day 2500 this season, trying to win the Coca Cola 600. Something that has never been done. These guys are racing really close here, wide, up towards the front of the pack. Philip Parker now takes over second, puts King Speed Jones and off on that inside lane right there. As Charlotte has been repaid, and we know how vicious this track can get. Fitzwater Senior out front. He's only keeping lead because these guys are able to continue to bounce side by side. But what a run that Incario got right down there into that turn. As Canario now with help from Eric Monaco, your Talladega winner. Fitzwater Senior falls back to the sideline. line. Eric Monaco. Gustavo Rocha in the 66, he now trying to take second from these guys. As we've been able to keep it clean and green so far. How long will these guys keep it out? How impatient will they get? When will they get impatient? These guys running really close, three by three. Someone kind of right now. It's long. As I believe, let's see. For our uh, former um, winners of this race, I can remember a couple of Malik Nevins in the back right now. Um, let's see. I believe Hamill was one of them. Fucking find it. I think. It's out front in Canario. Gustavo Rocha and um, Arlo Jones. I believe. Is that Arlo? Or is it AJ? Yeah, Arlo Jones. These guys still racing so close, yet keeping it so clean. It's what is sitting now in the middle, three wide. Etni Jones in a one car now on the inside, trying to make her way up to the front. Now, the lead, 42 in the two car. Those guys up front are getting real close to each other. We actually had a driver just kind of on nine. These guys up here near the front, they have a big wreck in front of them. Or if they wreck in front, it's pretty much probably going to be a big wreck. So, um, see these guys out of turf fours. 42 got a bit of a run right there. Ian Canario trying to clear the two of Arlo Jones with the inside of his preferred line. Look at the 15 right there of Henry Williams. Is a really good run in the middle right there. 
and I think it's safe to say no, we're on the track, it's safe right now. I mean, except maybe first place, but anything could happen. It's Jones still trying to clear the 42. And then Williams clear of that inside line. He's probably gonna go down there now as there he goes. Eric Monaco now stuck in the middle. These guys still keeping it clean. Still keeping it clean. King Hart, the six car, people from the 16. Oh, careful. 43 may have a problem. Not sure what's going on right there. That's Marcos Yepes, who's down on the eighth and almost went to the six car. As James Bowles right behind him. These guys still keeping it green. As long as they don't make it four wide, I think they should be okay. As Andrew Williams is out, followed by Arla Jones and um, Eric Monaco. Sammy Davis, puck four, now single foul. As uh, they might catch up on the black card, he's going barely 160. This guy's going over 170. It looks like they've calmed down a bit more now. It's Eric Monaco goes on the lead underneath the two car. He's now running second. Sammy Davis, Becker Pittsburgh Senior, trying to get back up there. Eddie Jones. 40 car of stability. It's car one. These guys are now all two by two. And I should probably have seen this race I've seen. These guys are all pretty calm. As Ed, or Sammy Davis is not calm, but here comes the senior. Makes it three wide. He did he go. Anthony Jones trying to follow. Those guys once again going three wide. It's pretty soon they're going to catch up on Eli Bright in the four. Let's ride rear from him. You see, they're just not out of the This pitch up seen it trying to pull away from these guys. Anthony Jones and Sammy Davis battling here. The teams. Henry Williams and Arlo Jones right there. So those guys are getting really racy now. When will they catch the four car? It's probably gonna decide this race if right. I don't think we've had a green flag race in Not sure we have. Is that quick for Henry Williams has his eyes set on Zach this for the senior Chevy running one, two, and three. And you have the Dodge of Stabilito. Who's in there? James Stabilito. It's three wide. Here comes Tim Randolph in 01. Or no, that's uh, Jones. Wait, which one is. Oh, he's in the 31. I think Tim Randolph drove this car last season. That's probably why I got confused. But out front now is Henry Williams. He got the rookie of Jones right behind him. And the 78 of Juan Yijun. I think that's how you say it. As they're catching Black right in the four. They've pretty much caught him now. We'll see what these guys do. Looks like they're going to catch him down into the turns here. As here comes the 78. Yijun trying to force his way, trying to hurry up and clear the four. Four goes up to the outside line now. As here comes the 78. We are already past halfway in this race. It's a 78 now to the lead of Yijun. Audrey Baranaskis still trying to get that win. Or I think I said, um, that's how they get, I said the first one up. Yeah, 
I don't, I'm, I'm not even sure. As Baranowskis is now to the lead. To the point she goes as uh, when these guys are getting held up by the four car. Henry Williams from first all the way to the middle of the pack and he's Dodgers out front battling for the lead. Ramian Fisher and the rookie. The rookie of, um, who's that? McDowell, Adam McDowell, I believe that is. Sure, who hasn't uh, won since Homestead. That got him the championship. That second win, trying to win here the Coca Cola 600. These guys still able to keep it clean and green, surprisingly. Because here comes the 88 of Dram to the lead. Dramming. Next, Anderson, the 12, who hasn't found much luck so far. Also looking for that win. Got a lot of rookies up here. Got the 88, the 5. Um, let's see, 88, the 5, and like the Allen, the 55. That is, uh, let's see. Okay, not as many rookies as I thought. Ooh, and I think we may have a wreck in the back almost at 31 um well Tim Randolph nearly got into the 48 how did these guys haven't been able to go anywhere oh, those guys three wide battle for the lead now. Koronovich, Anderson, and Karnemar, the rookie, as he leads that time by. Looks like this race still in the hands of anyone, except for four, maybe, because he's in that down now. Some miracle should happen. As to the lead goes the 42 of Ian Canario. Trying to clear if he can um, get to being single file, can probably. Lead a few laps here. Right behind in Richard Kinghart, we haven't talked much about. Has his teammate also right there on his inside. Kinghart's now going to get shoved to the outside. Here comes Philip Parker in the 99. Stuck in the middle is that 88 car right there of Jam. Jam is. Uh, Henry Williams has actually found his way. Back to that inside line, so he can probably still win this thing. Lee Nevins is up here looking for his second Coca Cola 600 win as they make contact. Makes contact with the 99 right there. Yeah, they're getting real racing. I didn't know it's timely, but this race is almost over. Seeing Canario leads, Nevins gets picked up behind Henry Williams. So I don't think they have to worry about a lot of cars for the rest of the race. And look at this, another rookie. He got the 32 right behind him. Jordan. This is Fisher's last race in the 32, and then um, we got Spain. We'll return to the 32. Or no, it's uh, this race and Todd So No, this race and. Sonoma. Sonoma will be his last race in the 32. My mistake on that. What it will be if that team could win today, or tonight. As a battle for the lead, Hejado, Hejode, 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 I have no idea how to pronounce that. Hope I got it right. So he's trying to lead. He got a lot of underfunded teams up here. Also, Bobby Stringlin's. As these guys are now all three by three, and this could get dicey. As Henry Williams has the lead all to himself. If these guys continue to go three by three, he might just have this thing in the bag. Bobby Trinkle not clears from those guys right there. Nick Smith now is gonna try to go underneath.
five laps to go at the line. Henry Williams leads Nick Smith and Clement Oskin. They're also Gustavo on the six, six and Tim Randolph. Tim Randolph looks third. Trying to race him. 400, 100. He's also trying to win the um, Coca-Cola 600 here. Got James Bowles right behind him. James Bowles up past Southern 500 winner. And one out at Homestead to win the championship. Of course, third win. Of course, third big win, I guess you could say. I believe it's three drivers who's the third pick. It's in this field here today. Out front, Gustavo Orocha. Tim Randa. Oh, and the five. Nearly got turned right there. That's the rookie as he gets back on track. No caution. As you can see, guys are getting very impatient with each other now. It's probably the biggest thing that's happened all race. As we're still green, any wreck now will end the race. James Bowles out front with help from good friend Raymond Fisher. Also got the work here. Zachary Fitzwell, the senior, is also up here in the mix. At the line, Raymond Fisher leads that time, two to go. Can he make it back without a wreck? McDowell, the rookie, trying to win his first ever race. Zachary Fitzwater senior team. Yijun, in the 78, he could possibly win this thing. Also, the 12 could possibly win this thing. Max Anderson, that is. As here comes the 78, trying to make a move. White flag is in the air for the fourth annual Coca-Cola 600 by m ms Wang Yijun in the 78 leads. He got Max Anderson right behind him. What perfect timing would be here. Down into the final corners at Charlotte. It looks like this one might go to the 12 of Max Anderson as Checker Flav. Max Anderson wins the Coca-Cola 600. Man. Clean, clean, clean race for the most part. Except for the five nearly getting turned, but what great racing by these guys to keep it clean all the way through. The green. As Max Anderson, I believe that's his first win. He's gonna win the Coca Cola 600 here, 2006 season. This great job by him to get you down to the full race results. Max Anderson, one, Yijun, Bobby Stringle, Zachary Fitzwater Senior, Riley Sparley, two. Great run for him, finishes fifth. He was on the back most of the day. Um. Adam McDowell, the rookie, great run by him. He's the highest running rookie in the rookie of the race. Stability though, Raymond Fisher, um, Jam, Bowles, Nevins, and Randolph runs out to top 12. Everyone finished this race. Eli Rose, two laps down. Damn. Congratulations to Max Anderson on his first ever win. Let's get you down to victory lane. Great job, Spider. I'm always trying to help you look good. Not easy being the best darn car chief on pit road. <laughs> Great job, brother. Great job today. You were up on the wheel all day, baby. Way to get it done, man. <laughs> 